Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 online CFM game. We are now in week 17 of the 2023 season here in the Premier Madden League. That of course means that this is the regular season finale. And today's game between the Washington Redskins and the Miami Dolphins entering this 2023 season was one of the most highly anticipated games because the Redskins and the Dolphins have consistently been two of the top teams in the Premier Madden League for its entire five season duration. And the records entering today's game would really make you think that this is a heavyweight matchup. But the reason why this matchup loses a lot of its simmer is because the 13-2 Redskins have already clinched the number 5 seed in the NFC Conference, and our Miami Dolphins have already clinched the number 1 seed in the AFC Conference. That means win or loss, nothing changes for these two teams. That means both teams are very inclined to rest their starters to get ready for the playoffs, especially our Miami Dolphins. We're going to be resting as many star players as possible, so... You know, what should have been a heavyweight matchup between Dwayne Haskins and Darius Geis versus Saquon Barkley and Deshaun Watson. Now, get used to names like Miles Brennan, Jake Smith, and Jahan Dawson leading the way for our Miami offense. A lot of these superstars and X-Factors that you see will not be taking the field. You won't see DeAndre Hopkins. You won't see Caden Stearns. You won't even see the likes of Christian Wilkins and Derek Brown. We're going to be wrestling as many star players as possible, and we can only assume the Redskins will do the same. Nonetheless, this should be an intriguing game because this could potentially be a Super Bowl preview, right? Because both these teams are guaranteed playoff spots and could be making pretty deep runs, especially judging by their records. So, we are underway with the Washington Redskins and the Miami Dolphins, both 13-2. and two. And right away, as soon as this game started, we paused. We subbed as many starters as we possibly could out the game. Maybe the only starter that you'll notice in, you know, would be like Thomas Graham, Raekwon McMillan, and then on the offensive side, Jakeem Grant, who isn't even too much of a starter for us because, of course, once the playoffs start, Jamison Crowder will be back for our Miami Dolphins, so... Grant will be relegated to wide receiver number four. Of course, Jameson Crowder had a chance to come back, as you guys saw, but there's literally no reason to play Jameson Crowder in this game as Troy Apke gets the interception. My opponent putting his hands in the cookie jar and the former Washington Redskin getting revenge on his old squad as Jakeem Grant getting the first down. With the lack of talent on the offensive end for some part, Jakeem Grant might be busy today. Grant almost had a Touchdown, but the quarterback, Miles Brennan, misses the mark. This is going to be the third different starting quarterback our Dolphins have had this season, along with the likes of Saquon Barkley, Jay Butterfield, and Taysom Hill. All attempting passes for our Dolphins this season. Right now, it's all about Miles Brennan. He is the only quarterback on this roster besides Deshaun Watson, so... It's really going to be all Miles Brennan all day long. We try to hit Jakeem Grant on third down on that seam pass. You know, kind of got mixed up with the defensive back. So it ended up not only being incomplete, but nearly intercepted. We kicked the field goal up and good. So really the goal of today's game is to just have some fun, mess around a little bit. You know, like I said, it's still a matchup between two top teams. So we're just going to try to let iron sharpen iron with the backups, I suppose. As you see, the Redskins have a couple of starters in the game right now. We can only assume they'll be pulled eventually. You guys saw Geis making a catch. Dwayne Haskins is in the game right now. Second down and nine. Down goes Dwayne. That's D Ford with the sack. D Ford, Quentin Bell, Noah Sewell amongst the names that will be getting a lot of minutes. There you see Caden Stearns actually making one of his rare appearances on the field for us today. Ricardo Allen who lost his starting free safety job to Adrian Colbert. He'll be playing a lot as you see Kenny and Drake on the punt return. Oh Drake! He's getting slippery with those spin moves now Jahan Dawson is normally our return guy but he's gonna be one of our top receivers this game so you know I don't want to wear him out too much Taysom Hill is gonna get a couple of snaps because why not as we try to look downfield nothing is open the Redskins guard it as well as you possibly can and not only that it's gonna be an intentional grounding penalty which I thought we were good throwing it near the quarterback but not so much according to the referees as we have Kalen Balaj out the backfield now Saquon Barkley is not gonna be in but we're gonna stop Balaj Drake and Corey Grant all getting the ball 
ball as Dodson gets it on third down and a little bit of traffic including from his own teammate Taysom Hill as Joey Sly from 57 yards out is up and good. Unfortunately for us in last week's game against the Bills CPU, Joey Sly actually missed his first and as of the day only field goal of the entire season. We did miss a PAT against the actual Bills in like week 12 or whatever it was and we missed our only field goal. It was like a 57 yarder and I just messed up the accuracy as you see third down Haskins getting it to Paul Richardson I'm surprised this dude's still in the CFM and still a receiver or receiving option for the Redskins We can only assume he's one of the backups out there as you see Bryce Love So we're gonna see a lot of cook a lot of Bryce Love for these Washington Redskins as we send the blitz Colbert makes the open field tackle on Bryce Love and we have a new quarterback in for the Washington Redskins out of East Carolina Just gets it off and uh, not that great of a pass if it was a better pass might have been intercepted by a by Adrian Colbert nonetheless Redskins punt the ball to us and this game is going about how you would expect with a bunch of backups in the game of course you know no Montez Sweat out there no Matt Ioannidis in the defensive line so you know, we're actually going to have some time to pass the ball, Miles Brennan. So we don't just got to run. We can just sling this ball a little bit, have some fun, test some passing plays out. That's Jake Smith, the wide receiver out of Texas, making the catch. Here's Jahan Dotson. As you guys know, Dotson has a punt return touchdown for us this season and has been pretty electric in general. We'll test out his receiving skills today as Kalen Balaj running tough, getting a stiff arm out there, and Jakeem Grant all of a sudden on the sweep. Like I said, Jakeem Grant is going to be pretty busy in this game. We're going to try to have some fun with Jakeem Grant because there's really not much else to do in this regular season finale except, you know, give Jakeem Grant maybe a nice curtain call since, like I said, he's going to be relegated to wide receiver number four once we get our full core back, get Jamison Crowder along with Chris Godwin and DeAndre Hopkins. There's... Jakeem Grant making the catch and actually making it a fourth down in Manchel. We're going to go for it. We don't care. Why not? Balls to the wall, and we get the conversion to Jake Paulson, one of the few starters still in this game at the tight end position. Brennan's lost it, but it's picked up by Austin Blight. And Blight trying to make some moves. Gets us a gain of a yard, technically, so... That could have went worse as you see Kalen Bullard falling forward, forward to first down. Let's continue to get Bullard the ball. Let's see what he's made of. Unfortunately, not much to be done there. Second down and nine though. We give it to Kalen Bullard one more time. Of course, Kalen Bullard had that unfortunate injury in his dev story game where we had a chance to get him to superstar. Bullard is still trying to run tough for us though. Oh, as Brennan just hangs on to the ball as he's taken down by... A man whose last name is Player, it looks like, and he definitely played us. We settle for our third Joey Sly field goal of the game. At least we are getting practice making field goals because we might need that for whether it's field goals or PATs in the playoffs, I guess. I would rather have practice scoring touchdowns, but here we are with a 9-0 lead. Cook not getting too much. Second down, minute left in the first half, and yeah, you can definitely tell. Backup quarterbacks are in this game. That was just a missed opportunity between the wide receiver and quarterback. Whose ever fault it was, I don't know. What I do know is we get to stop on third down, and we force the Redskins to punt the ball. Now, we do call a timeout here because, you know, even though it is a game of backups and it's pretty meaningless, we're still here to win the game, all right? We're still here to be aggressive and give our guys playing this game every opportunity they can to you know get some experience because you never know when we might need to rely on some of these players in the playoffs as Brennan outside that's going to be intercepted by Dean oh man oh man I 100% hit the wrong button right there anybody who's watching of CFM games knows that I constantly mix up triangle and X. I don't know why. They just look similar to me. And, you know, I believe it was X. I was just wide open on the check down. And I just hit the wrong button. That's going to be an interception right back, though. And we continue the shutout in the first half of this game. Thomas Graham with the interception. And Kalen Bolaj trying to get something going before the end of the first half. Juking out the cornerback. But that's about all that's going to happen on this play. Wait, maybe one more play here before the end of the first half, right? Let's just uh, see if we could break out some crazy run of this man in 20. So. You know, let's see what we can do. And, you know, with this being Man 20, this has been a pretty fun game so far just because, you know, we haven't had to deal with someone on pace to run the ball 25 times, which seems to be about the average this season in the CFM. Whoa! Maybe that's why you passed the ball. Die! If it was picked, was going back for six. So we kind of got away with one there, and Karma gets us on second down because no one decided to block that man. But who am I to complain after we nearly threw a pick six? So third down and 20 after all these theatrics, Brennan trying to get away from that 
that inside penetration does get the pass off, but uh, had a bit of happy feet. Probably didn't get that pass too well off. So we're uh, missing out on a drag route, and all of a sudden the Redskins immediately take over in field goal range. I don't know why that punt was so bad, but it was as we have a superstar wide receiver out here trying to get some playing time, trying to get some confidence, I suppose. You don't got to rest all your guys. But, you know, you definitely want to protect your quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, which unfortunately means this backup quarterback is having a rough one for the Redskins as Grant is down and the shutout is over because that's a safety and that's not even close. I tried to get that sweep off to Grant. It was kind of a boomer buzz play. If we got that block sealed outside, you know Jakeem Grant's fast. He might have taken that one all the way, but um, unfortunately... Not meant to be, so like I said, we give up the shutout, but you know, hopefully we continue playing the defense that we played all game long as that was an awkward looking play. It's going to be a completion here. Maybe this backup can get something going, just get some checkdowns, get some sort of confidence so we can stop throwing those, you know, completely inaccurate throws. Third down and four, Blitzen coming, just gets it off, and this man all of a sudden has some space and some, wow, okay, hello. You'd think a wide receiver that big wouldn't be that nifty. But hey, I guess we're wrong. All of a sudden, it's Bryce Love in the end zone for the touchdown. And as well as we've played mainly defensively in this game, that's all out the window because the game is tied. And as well as I feel like we moved the ball offensively, it doesn't matter when you just keep on kicking field goals, right? I don't care how many quarter lengths there are, whether it's 10 minutes or 4 minutes. If you're only kicking field goals, you're probably not going to win. So. You know, we got to dial it up a notch here. Even though it's the backups, like I said, we're playing with a competitive spirit. Like, I don't care what who's playing in this game. I'm playing to win, all right? That was proven in day one of this CFM. And we took over a 63 overall Dolphins team and immediately won our first two games and said, screw tanking. We're going for it all, and we're going to be rewarded. Dotson, gone. Touchdown, Miami. We've regained the lead with a bit of play action. The safety absolutely bit down, and Dotson was fast enough to burn the cornerback one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe we uh, filed that play in the back log because, you know, like I said, this is a nice opportunity for us to try some plays out use some players that we haven't used and you know see what happens obviously you take everything that's happened in this game with a grain of salt because like you know we got backups all over the place this dude for the redskins literally could not hit like a 100 foot target right now if he tried as we have bryce love somehow getting away i really don't know what's going on there though you know you can tell it's backups for our dolphins as well because we are really struggling to make open field tackles not noah suel though our top 10 pick at the middle linebacker position which you know, hasn't had a ton of playing time, but definitely had a couple of big plays when Jabril Cox was injured. We had Suell and Gernard Avery kind of teaming up to fill up that gap. Fourth down and four here, and the Redskins are going to go for it late in the third quarter. And with time, the quarterback able to fire to, you know, whomever these guys are, right? Like, honestly, I'm not going to try to figure out who some of these guys are. Like, that tight end, good for him. He's got the first down, but I don't know what his name is. Second down and six. The Redskins looking to tie the game up. And dead. Will find the end zone. This Redskins offense gaining some momentum in the second half, and that's why when you're playing as well as we played in the first half, you really want to put teams away. And we had every opportunity to, even in the third quarter. So it's that safety. That one play, like an offensive safety, really changed everything. And all of a sudden, our defense is deflated. And now we need our offense, which, you know, has been doing pretty decent so far. And it continues. Jake Smith on the dig route gets the first down. Maybe the last play of the third quarter. Brennan time going middle. And that's Grant. Oh, man. Oh, man. At least for one more time, your touchdown has been granted. The Dolphins regain the lead. It doesn't matter what season it is. Jakeem Grant, he's still got those wheels and just enough receiving skills, right? Ever since day one in this CFM, we identified Jakeem Grant as a key player of this team and it's still happening even as he, I believe, is now like 30 years old in this CFM. He's lost some of his elusiveness, even some of his receiving skill, but... I mean, who knows? Maybe we use Jakeem Grant a little bit in the playoffs with how well he is performing in this game against the Washington Redskins. And, you know, one thing to keep in mind, like I said, this could be a potential Super Bowl matchup. So, you know, it's not all taking it easy and chilling out. We're trying to read a little bit into what the Redskins are doing. Obviously, no one's showing the full scheme, the full playbook, and definitely not all their star players. But, you know, you file some 
things in the backlog. Like right there, third down and six. The all-out blitz absolutely works. Quentin Bell gets the sack. Bell's been, you know, one of the players on our roster that's never really started, but he just occasionally gets some snaps and occasionally makes some plays for us. He's a pretty fast outside linebacker, and that definitely shows up on plays like that. So uh, letting the Collins on special teams absolutely destroy Kenny and Drake. So it's a good thing we didn't fumble there. Play action after the penalty on first down. Brennan, look at him moving oh so slowly, but surely getting a gain of 12 as Kenny and, or as actually Kalen Bulaj not able to get too much. Big third down here, 640 left in regulation. We really want this first down to control the game that much more. And Jakeem Grant shows up one more time. Now we set up Grant on his famous jet sweep. And Grant sends a man skating before getting absolutely rocked. Miles Brennan having quite the outing here. Nearly 300 yards passing. And maybe could get it on this play of Corey Grant. Could fight hard enough. Still a decent gain of seven. Here's Corey Grant now on the rushing attempt. But that's not going to work out too well. It's third down and short. And we are looking to pass one more time with Brennan. Look at that protection. Protection going against those backups. You know, we don't have all these superstar rushers in our grill, and we're able to allow plays like a deep dig to develop as we go to Grant, who's lost it. But that's going to go out of bounds. It's still going to be a catch. It's going to be a gain of five yards, but... I think we just lost almost all of those five yards trying to run the ball with Corey Grant, who's not having a great game. It's third down and eight, and Brennan just going to keep it safe. Grant, though, going for it all. Lost it again, and this time the Redskins do recover, and that's going to be a touchback. So close to a touchdown. Hold on, the booth is reviewing this, though. Whew. Thankfully for us, no fumble from Jakeem Graham. Ball is out after he goes down, so it's a first down and goal at the one-yard line. And there's Grant. Your touchdown has been granted. And that may be the dagger in this regular season finale as our Miami Dolphins grab a 14-point lead with just 2.25 remaining. It's tough to move the ball in this situation normally, but especially with, you know, working with a makeshift crew on the offensive end. That much tougher for the Washington Redskins. They'll still try to get the job done, though, but man... Oh man, is this kid having a rough one. Third down, all you need is just a three yards. Get whatever you can. And the Redskins kind of taking a play out of our playbook today. Getting one of those deep digs to go. Downfield. Oh, we had a step. But the ball is swatted partially by Cameron Brown. Second down with time. With an open tight end. But this is just awful. This is absolutely awful. Look at this. Haskins is back in the game. This dude has to be upset with the way his backup is playing. And he nearly throws an interception. Good pass by Haskins as far as accuracy. It's just, it almost went right to Adrian Colbert. So here we go. Fourth down. And with time. And a good pass. But... Better coverage by the, our Miami Dolphins. That's going to be the end of that drive and the end of whatever attempt. The Redskins were going to have to try to win this game. And, of course, you know, with this being just, you know, a chill Week 17 game, I thought the Redskins are going to push it too much to try to get the ball back here. They probably want the game over with, you know, especially the way it's been going for them offensively. So they're not even calling timeouts. We're going to try to get this first down, which we do with Kalen Balaj, and that will put this game away. The Redskins still not going to bother calling their timeouts, so... We're going to call Hardy up here, let these final seconds ship down as fast as they possibly can. And that will do it for the regular season. Our Miami Dolphins move to a 14-2 record. A great regular season for our Miami Dolphins. Also a great regular season for the Washington Redskins, who only lost three times. So our Dolphins to the New York Giants, who I believe finished 15-1, the defending Super Bowl champion Giants, and I believe they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles as well. So will we see the Redskins down the road? Who knows? Will we see the Giants down the road? Who knows? Hopefully we see someone down the road from that NFC, because that means we made the Super Bowl, right? So Jakeem Grant, 10 catches, 130 yards. That's an awesome game for Jakeem Grant, because... I mean, at a certain point in this game, I literally said, all right, I'm just going to give Jakeem Grant the ball like damn near every single time and let our little engine that could carry us to one more victory. And it felt good. It was fun to have that happen at least one more time, though. Now, of course, the focus completely shifts from having fun and messing around to the playoffs. So we'll have to see who we match up with in the divisional round, obviously. No wild card weekend for us. And thankfully, our team will be as healthy as they've been all season for the playoffs. We're going to get Jameson Crowder back. We're going to have absolutely nobody on the IR for the playoffs so you know we can have our full team for a full run and it's gonna be 
kind of weird to actually have everybody playing at once, but it should be a lot of fun as well. So as you guys see the way the regular season shook down, you got to keep in mind that like, some of these players like Deshaun Watson, not on our team for the full season, so some of those stats came from like the Texans guy. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins was on our team for the full season. Didn't play all the games, but still led the league in receiving and uh, touchdown receptions as well. Chris Godwin, I believe, finished top 10 in receiving as well. He had 12 touchdowns to his name, so like a really great season for Chris Godwin. That would be number one on most teams, but we just happen to have Nuke Hopkins on our side. You see McMillan, 19 tackles for a loss. Jabril Cox was second on the team, and he missed half the season, so that speaks to the kind of season he had. Malik Harrison actually ends up leading the um, team in sacks with Derek Brown and Christian Wilkins, not too far behind, as you see you know, some guys kind of racking up a couple of themselves. Xavier Howard had quite the season, especially once we moved him to slot cornerback in our nickel and dime formations. Caden Stearns leading the team in interceptions, no surprise there. A great season turned up by Bryce Hall as well. Got to mention him, as you guys see. The amount of deflections we've had this season has been, like, absurd. I don't know how why we've had so many, but we are definitely batting passes. We probably should be intercepting some of them, but that's just great defense nonetheless, as long as we're forcing in completions and forcing fumbles with Caden Stearns. That's going to do it for today's video. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. Mainly, you know, of course, you got to leave a like for Jakeem Grant doing this thing one more time. At least, I mean, who knows? We might have to mix Jakeem Grant in for the playoffs. Like I said, mix him into uh, the playing rotation. But uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. Subscribe for more Man 20 gameplays. And I will catch you guys next time for some playoff action with our Miami Dolphins.